it's another gorgeous, 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 perfect, beautiful day, uh, as they all have been. We're just, we've just departed uh, the Big Shoot, the, uh, the public docks there at the top of the Big Shoot Marine Railway, and we are heading now eastbound. And we're going towards, not quite sure, got two destinations in mind, and we're gonna have to see when we get there. But in the meantime, I'll share more of this beautiful scenery with you. I know I showed you what it looked like on the way this way, or the other opposite way, I should say, when we're coming up. Uh, but now, as we're heading back, it looks completely different as most places do. Depends on whether you're heading into the sun or away from the sun. But it's beautiful. I've had a few people on Facebook ask me uh, if I could let them know where we are on our trip and I have to reiterate to you people please 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 read the description in every video that we're traveling at least for the last three years every video I have a Google Maps link to the exact pinpoint spot of where we were so you can look at that zoom out zoom in get a lot more information especially if it's at a lot I usually will link it right to uh, the information on the lock in Google Maps so you can get a broader view of that so please always every video whether we're traveling or not read the description there's always lots of links in there there's always lots more information that I have than I have time to talk to you about so the other thing was um, if I could tell you how much fuel we've used. And I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it so far in this series. I think I did. I know I've replied to people on Facebook about it. That I will compile a complete overview of the whole trip. Uh, tell you how the mileage that we drove, the fuel that we spent, or the amount of fuel that we bought, the, 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 the dollar value, how many liters, the average cost per liter, on and on and on, as well as probably give you a breakdown on every location where we stayed at, whether it be a marina or a lock. Um, yeah, and whatever else I can think of. So that will be coming, but it won't be coming until the very end of this series. Now, when I'm filming this, it's real time. It's the first week of August. It's the August long weekend here in Ontario. And by the time you see this video, it will probably be the end of this year or even at the beginning of the next because I have probably 20 more uh, episodes to share. And remember, a new episode comes out every Thursday. At the very end, I will go over it with you and show you all those stats because right now I don't know what the totals are. So that's going to be at the end of the series. Look forward to that. But again, please, read the descriptions. Thank you.
So while well, Anchor Girl makes me a beautiful lunch here at lovely uh, Lock 43 Swift Rapids at the top side, we are back here again. Now we were hoping to stay at the bottom but it was completely full and if you saw my video coming in, there's a little bit of confusion there too. But we have uh, decided because this side of the wall was just concrete, is um, it's like a, a pier or a jetty that sticks, sticks out. Um, we decided why not we'll just stop here but it looks like the gray wall, the overnight wall on the other side is clearing out. There was uh, a couple of big, or sorry, small boats that left. There's one left there, but there's also a tent on shore, so I'm guessing those people will be spending the night. But there's a lot of traffic still coming into the top side of Lock, so we couldn't make it over there. There's boats tooling around out front here, so we're just going to wait and see what happens. Um, so if it clears up, we'll just take the boat, spin it around, and tie up there so we're at least on the grass. If not, we'll just stay here. Doesn't really matter to me as uh, this trip is winding down. I just, I, I don't want to go home. Anchor Girl actually suggested if there's no room here and no room at the next lock 42, then we'll just go home. And I said, no, don't want to go home yet. Still got a couple of days. So, anyways, this is where we are right now, and it looks pretty. That breeze has picked up a little bit. It's so nice just sitting here at the back of the boat. And lunch is coming, which is a good thing. Try that again. Um, now that I'm on the leeward side of the wind, 
can probably hear me a little bit better. So yeah, tomorrow's plan is to go slowly. It's about a two hour cruise up to lock 42. We're at lock 43 now. So we're heading upstream to 42 and hopefully get a spot there for tomorrow night. Um, would prefer to stay on the top side, but if we only get to the bottom, that's where we're going to. Um, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be our uh, last, you know, last official day. Actually, the next day will, but tomorrow's gonna be the last night. That said, tomorrow's only gonna be Monday, so Tuesday we plan to be getting back to our home port. Um, we do have a couple things we gotta do, but I was telling that anchor girl already that hey, maybe we'll go back out for Thursday night, Friday night, uh, back to a lock where we've never been before. We have been there, but I've never taken you there. We were there once briefly, geez, gotta be eight years ago or so, seven or eight years ago. We went with a couple of uh, other boaters, a couple of other boating couples, spent a night there and that was it. Just a brief afternoon overnight and that was it. Uh, so we may head back there because it looked kind of interesting on our way back this way when we were coming from that way. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Uh, no promises, but I'm hoping so because I just, I don't want this to end, as you know. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot I can say, but I think I've said it all before. We just, you know, love the, love the cruising lifestyle. Love to get away, love to be on the boat for as much as possible we are into. This is week five. I probably mentioned that already, but... It's, um, it's kind of sad when I look through all the photos that I've taken so far on my phone, which is only like 2,000, and just scroll back. I was saying Anchor Girl the other day. It's like, wow, remember we went boom, and that was like three weeks ago? No way. It only seems like a couple days ago. But that's how it is when we're cruising. So I just want to take advantage as much as we can. And, um, yeah, even when we're done this series, there's still a lot more born to go. It's only the 1st of August, so we've still got another month and a half of decent boating weather fingers crossed so if i don't see you anymore this evening or this afternoon um i'm gonna say again stunning beautiful day as it has been all the way along thanks for watching please look down in the description at the links on all of my videos to see where we have been where we are and everything else that i share there and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks for following i really appreciate it thanks for supporting the channel until the next one, cheers.